Singer 201. It's uh, made by Singer. Uh, I assume it's the original one. All the parts have Singer embossed on them. The uh, wire is all pliable and without cracks. So it's in good shape. Light works, switch works. The bobbin winder works. This is not a new tire, but this tire is in good shape. Here's a close-up of the stitch length and reverse mechanism. I'll just rock the machine back and you can see the embossed stitch length indications 30 through 6. You just place the lever at the stitch length that you want and just move this up until it meets the lever. Just lock it down and what it does is it simultaneously sets the reverse limit. So that is going to sew in reverse at the same stitch length as it does in forward. So you can see here if I set it to a shorter stitch length as I set it up to hit the lever you'll notice that the top one comes down also. So that limits the reverse to that stitch length. And then I'll leave it there so you can see that the bottom and the top both move at the same time. Now these machines can sew slow and accurate if that's what you like. And they'll, they'll go at a fair clip as well. This is four layers. It goes through very easily. The nice thing about a 201 is they're very accurate. So they, I like the small foot that they come with and we're just able to have a lot of control and sew a nice accurate stitch. You can see it just walks through that denim very easily. And with the thicker thread that I have, it, you can see it makes a nicer stitch in the heavier denim. I've got uh, two pieces of leather. Um, this is cowhide leather and it is uh, when there's two of them together it's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. Fits under the foot easily. moves it through well, doesn't have any problem. Uh, 
this one was built in 1948.